good, blurry, boring guy. So hopefully the camera focuses, and it did. Good, proper, boring guy. I'm on my way to go to the language course. This time we're in a different building, so that's going to be interesting. Since I'm close to the building that we're going to today, I think I'm going there directly because the original plan was for everyone to show up at the old one or the normal one we go to and then walk to the other one since Breton is so small. You can actually do that. I'm kind of excited about something else today because our Amazon orders are coming in, which means that hopefully tonight I can open up my MacBook, add an additional drive in there, and be full to go when it comes to actual editing now because I've been waiting for that thing for at least a week. An actual waiting, waiting for a few days, so I'm getting excited, excited. I love packages. You know that. I love mail that is good and I ordered myself. Oh. Clearly the weather is is dry. I hope it stays dry enough for me to to go there and then on the way back I am taking an umbrella just in case. Please, please let it be dry. Would be nice. <laughs> Apparently the ebook didn't vlog yet, so it's kind of weird cutting in between myself and myself a little later. It was fine. Kind of funny. Uh, when you have to time, guys, in your same language course, what kind of jobs do you think they have? I will give you two seconds to pause and type something. And if, you, if you're right, you're probably right. One is a, is a pizza baker and the other one kind of makes Italian food. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And here's the, the, the cool part about it. They came in with gelato ice cream for everyone and uh, some pizzas. I didn't like them because they're like all sorts of special, but they looked deliciously good. I can tell you that. But here's the thing I'm more excited about is that my Amazon package arrived with uh, an audio cable from the Amazon Basics here. Because we needed that. We didn't have one here for some reason. I have like six or seven cables all in a box in America probably. But here's the interesting part. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take apart this hard drive, take out the actual drive that's in there, open up my MacBook. I've got some screwdrivers. There's like a tiny one in here, but I don't trust that one. It's gonna strip probably immediately. So I have some uh, good ones that I borrowed from Sarah's dad and build it in my laptop. I'm very excited about that. What could go wrong, you would ask. Well, make an educated guess. Yeah, I, I ran into a problem and that's because I forgot that the MacBook has stupid screws in places that they shouldn't be. This is torque screws, which are like the star-shaped ones. And I almost clipped one of the screws because I forgot that they were Torx. So I need a very specific size. It's six, which is like super, super tiny and it's really hard to find. Either you have to pay like 44 like euros in order to get like a specific box that has all of the screw sets. But those are for machines, and I need to manually do it because if you over torque it, <laughs> joke, you basically strip the screws and they're useless forever. So we found this, which actually comes in handy because I need these more often, anyways, for specific things. And since they look nice, I think I think we'll be able to use them for a longer time. I hope they're good quality because the problem with like buying cheaper tools like like those things is that they they break i don't know why but they just break snap off fairly easy and normally i would agree buy the most nice and fancy piece of equipment that you have because you know that you get good quality but we don't have good quality money so we have to do what we have and i just have to be less of a of a monster trying to just, rah, break everything <laughs> one thing is for certain germany has a lot of really nice tools that's for sure like a lot of quality products that aren't even that crazy expensive if you would need like an entire set for instance and the moment of truth hopefully it recognizes the drive so far it's installing some updates because in all honesty, I haven't restarted my MacBook in about a month and a half. Probably the last time was actually when I booted it up after I reinstalled it. I should probably do more reboots. <laughs> but so far, everything seems good. Here's, here's the funny thing, by the way. Uh, well, when I was doing some research on the whole thing, I was reading about the fact that the hard drive actually makes like a boot up sound. It's very iconic for those who have a MacBook. You know exactly when you boot up, it's like, it's like a mechanical bleak, and then it makes the like Apple, like the, the boing sound. It doesn't do that anymore because there's no drive in there anymore that makes that sound. So I was a little worried for a sec, then I remembered, oh yeah, 
it, it doesn't do that anymore. This means that we have an additional edit driver now and everything works. I didn't break it yet. It did ask me for my password already, so it, I did something right. Are you guys ready? Okay, here he goes. And that is the drive. Let's see if it actually works because it might show up, but... I was victorious. Now I'm going to edit a vlog because I need to edit a vlog. It's kind of good to get some, uh, some testing going. I think someone wants to go outside with you. <laughs> you wonder. Really? Both of them. Really one harness though. Right now. Well, you're kind of attached to it. Okay. Come. He keeps on attacking me. Let's go outside. Come. 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 That's not how it works, you know that. Nope. Nope. Come. One. Two. <laughs> Don't fight it. I know you want to go outside. Ow! We're not going outside now. Let's go. Let's see if I have to carry him. Yep. It fell over. Dude, what? Come. 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 Guys, check out the tail. It's all fluffy and stiff. <laughs> no rattlesnake here. <laughs> Hi. Guess we're good. This is for Cass. I'm probably for him. So, are we going back? Oh, okay, we made it. He's gonna fall over in a second again. Does that smell like dog? I bet it does. Uh, actually, I wanted to show you this, not the kitty. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? By the way, the sunset goes all around. You can still see it on the other side. I'll show you. See? Isn't that cool? Where's the other one? So about a half hour ago I started watching CNN because I got messages on Twitter seeing that there was a bombing in um, Boston just now at the Boston Marathon and so far there are actually three bombs that have gone off, two at the actual marathon and one at the JFK library. I don't really know that much about Boston so I have no clue how far apart that is but the CNN announcements have been... <laughs> wow pretty messed up so far. Two people died and at least 46 are injured now. Well, the only thing that I can say is best of luck to anyone up there. And I'm curious how all the security measures are going to be twice as high now. I have actually flown in 2006 just before they did the um, rule that you're no longer allowed to carry any water into the plane 
that is not bought at the airport or on the plane itself. I really hope that everything <laughs> that everything stays like how it is now and it only gets better. <laughs>